how to deal with manipulating spirits. Father Lord, I thank you for who you are in my life. I cover myself and my household in the precious blood of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, forgive me of all my past mistakes and iniquities. Every manipulating spirit taking advantage of my mistakes, lose your hold over my life. Every spirit manipulating me to disobey the law of God, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me to eat the forbidden fruit, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me to work against myself, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to rob me of my glory, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to rob me of my joy, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to rob me of my miracles, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to rob me of any blessing, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to rob me of my breakthroughs, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to rob me of my success, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to rob me of my promotion, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to neutralize the power of God in me, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to corrupt my anointing, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me to work against my own destiny, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me to work against God's plan for my life, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me to move out of my appointed location, you will not prosper over my life. Every spirit manipulating me in order to miss my open heavens, you will not prosper over my life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 in order to keep satan from getting the upper hand of us for we know what his plans are second corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 well no wonder even satan can disguise himself to look like an angel of light matthew chapter 4 from verses 1 to 11. Then the Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After spending 40 days and nights without food, Jesus was hungry. Then the devil came to him and said, If you are God's son, order these stones to turn into bread. But Jesus answered, The scripture says, Man cannot live on bread alone, but needs every word that God speaks. Then the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem, the holy city, set him on the highest point of the temple, and said to him, If you are God's son, throw yourself down, for the scripture says, God will give orders to his angels about you. They will hold you up with their hands, so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stones. Jesus answered, But the scriptures also says, Do not Put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in all their greatness. All this I will give you, the devil said, if you kneel down and worship me. Then Jesus answered, Go away, Satan. The scripture says, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left Jesus and angels came and helped him. Genesis chapter 3 from verse 1 to 8. Now the snake was the most cunning animal that the Lord God had made. The snake asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat the fruit from any tree in the garden? We may eat the fruit of any tree in the garden, the woman answered. Except the tree in the middle of it. God told us not to eat the fruit of that tree or even touch it. If we do, we will die. The snake replied, That's not true. You will not die. God said that because he knows that when you eat it, you will be like God and know what is good and what is bad. The woman saw how beautiful the tree was and how good its fruit would be to eat. And she thought, how wonderful it would be to become wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. 
Then she gave some to her husband, and he also ate it. As soon as they had eaten it, they were given understanding and realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and covered themselves. That evening, they had the Lord God walking in the garden, and they hid from him among the trees. That's all for now. If you like such kind of videos, then consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing to your friends. Thank you and bye-bye.